Hey guys, it's Colin. Okay, so this video is a video I've wanted to make for a little while now, but I didn't know what exactly I was going to say in it or how to say what I needed to, and I think I finally figured out what I want to say. So, with that being said, this video is going to be me explaining my gender. Now, I know that I'm not, like, super open or anything about my gender, or I don't talk about it a lot, or I've, I've just kind of always went with the flow of being um, identified as a male, um, but that is not true. I am actually both. I identify as a male and a female, and, okay, let me, before I, like, get too complicated, and like start saying things that not everyone is going to be understanding um, of and make people confused. I was born a male, like, or like a man, like biologically I have, you know, I have a penis, <laughs> like in blunt terms, it's not even blunt, it's just me in medical terms, I have, a, I have a penis and I was born as a man, but um, gender wise, I identify as a man and a female, so a man and a woman and um, that is probably complicated for some people because a lot of people don't understand that, like, your gender isn't what you were born as, it's how you feel. Like, it's a gender, it's how you feel. And, um, when you feel as if you're both, you are known as what is called, um, gender fluid, which means that there's, like, a spectrum and you flow back and forth from, it's like, um, you just flow back and forth between the spectrum of genders between male, female, um, and, I mean, like, those aren't the only two genders, there's other genders, of course, like, obviously, from this video, if the one thing I want you guys to take away from it is that there are more than one gender, there's more than two genders, um, and, yeah, I identify as both, because I feel as if I am a man and a woman, and that is something that I've kind of realized very recently, and, um, I didn't realize it was possible. So, let me give you a little backstory. Okay, when I was a little kid, I kind of felt as if I was a girl. Um, when I was a little boy and, uh, you know, I was growing up, I never felt like a boy. And I didn't, I guess I didn't realize how impactful this has been until very recently, like I said. Um, but I would always wear my mom's dresses or her, like, night gowns or stuff. Um, I would... I was playing with Barbies, I was, you know, I was very interested in, like, makeup, and I always thought that girls looked so pretty with makeup on, stuff like that, and I, when I was a kid, I would, you, do you know how, like, girls, you know, like, they push their hair behind their ears to get out of their face? I would do that, but I had a buzz cut, and I didn't need to do that, so I was just doing it because I felt that was natural to do. I literally would push my hair be or behind my ears, and that was just... I just switched just it's what felt right and um I felt like I I still I'm I'm I identify as being a bisexual human being like you know I I like men and I like women too like I am not for either um I, I really don't care what you are as long as I can fall in love with your personality and you as a human being because that's what I'm attracted to is just personalities and I mean obviously looks too cuz I do like a hot human being but I really felt like a girl, but I also felt like a boy because I really felt like comfortable doing sports in my earlier years. Like I really liked doing soccer and I really, um, I liked d doing stuff with like my dad and like, you know, I, I liked those masculine, see this is such a hard video to make because it has so much to do with gender roles and I don't want to be offensive and I'm just saying how I feel. This is not fact or anything. This is just how I feel as a human being and so guys, please don't like judge me for like saying something ignorant i'm i'm really this is like really new to me this stuff is so like i'm honestly just trying to be as open as, with my opinion and like how i feel as i can possibly be disclaimer in the middle of a video sorry about it um so i did i felt like you know a boy and a girl but 
obviously, like, I didn't realize what this was until really recently, so I didn't think, I mean, I was, like, whatever. Um, fast forward to middle school, and I wanted to be a woman. Surprise. I hadn't even come out, of, I didn't even figure my sexuality yet. Um, I didn't even know that I liked guys at all. I thought I was mainly, like, that I was only attracted to women. Um, and so, you know, I wanted to have a sex change when I was in middle school, and I realized how expensive it is and how much, um, emotional support that's gonna take and like how exhausting it would be to have a sex change and I decided against it because I was like I don't that's it, it's too permanent like that's too much and I can't experience being a man again after that so I don't want to do that I was born with this body and I want to learn to love it but I also want to feel comfortable in my own skin so I just really didn't want to do that because of how really permanent that was um, anyway, so fast forward to high school, I am starting to figure out my sexuality, that I like guys, that I like girls, um, you know, I came out as gay because I was like, I like guys, I don't like girls, like, ew, gross, vagina, you know, because I was like a fucking high school kid or whatever, but I do like girls, like, I find girls really attractive and I'm attracted to them, uh, but I like guys as well, so now, you know, I'm figuring my, my sexuality out. And by the end of my senior year, I'm like, I'm something is missing. Something is happening. And fast forward to now. Um, a couple weeks ago, my friend was talking to me about something that was called gender fluid. And I was like, what is that? Like, she was just like, oh, it's basically where you just, you feel like you're both. You're you not know, a man, you're not a woman, you're, you're both. It's an equilibrium of the two sexes. Or the, not the two sexes, but the two genders. And... Um, you know, that's an equal balance, you know, like one day you might feel like you're a man, like the next you might feel like you're a woman, um, the next day you might feel like both, and it's just kind of exactly how I feel. I feel like both a lot of times. Like I love those masculine energies and like all of like the things that I get to experience as being a man, but I also really love that feminine side, you know, um, that softer side that's more beautiful and delicate as whereas it's like generally like men are described as like rugged and rough and stuff like that um and I really like those um so like I just you know I was like really, that, that's me like I felt so I felt like my eyes had literally been like pulled open and I was seeing things from a different perspective because you know I love um things that are feminine, even though I'm a boy, and this is why I'm saying it, it all ties into having gender roles and stuff like that, because I feel like, is this even real? I mean, I, it is real. People feel differently. There's, you know, transgender people, like, who literally feel like the opposite gender. Like, Bruce Jenner just came out as transgender. Like, he was born as a male, but he feels as if he's a female. Like, that's how he fucking feels, and, like, I don't think it's right for anyone to say that this isn't real, and that's not at all what I'm gonna say. I just think it's just with gender roles, it's so difficult for me to even explain this because I don't want to sound like I'm being offensive or being ignorant. I just want to tell you guys how I feel. I like wearing makeup, but I'm a boy. But I also really like being around lots of men because I like those masculine energies. I like hanging out with the guys. I like having guy friends, even though I don't have that many. It's just so strange and complicated for me to like even grasp my mind around this but this is like who I am and I'm like this is it this is literally it. this is who I am and I feel so open about things now like I'm not afraid to tell anyone or anything that's not, I've, it's, I this isn't like a talk I've ever had with my parents or anything this isn't a talk I've ever had with like a lot of my friends like I have a couple friends who I've talked about this to and like they're obviously really supportive because my friends are incredible and I don't hang out with people who don't support me but the it's really it's very strange for me to like get my grasp my mind around this right now because it's all very new but this is kind of like my coming out video I never had one of those because I've kind of just always been open with my sexuality or whatever but this is kind of like my coming out video for my gender like who I am as a human being and so, surprise, <laughs> or whatever. As far as pronouns go, I don't mind if you call me 
he, if you refer to me as he or she or like there or like whatever you want to call me, I really don't mind because I don't, because I feel like both sometimes like, and if it's a day that I'm feeling more feminine, like more like a woman, like I'm not going to be upset if you call me he because I am still a man and I understand how this world works like I get it it's fine like it's that's not something that upsets me personally but I'm not speaking on behalf of the community by any means when I say that either I want you to respect all of the people in the community This is a really weird video for me to make because I, I was not nervous or anything, but now that I'm making the video, I'm kind of like nervous and I'm like, oh my god, what do I say? Like, I don't even know what to say about any of this. And this video is probably going to be really long and I'm super sorry about that because I don't want it to be like this long drawn out video where I'm like, oh, feel sorry for me because my life is so different and you have to try to like work around my needs. Like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just literally just opening up about this stuff because this channel is about me and about you guys and like our connection and getting to know people and if you're gonna get to know somebody you need to know some of the most important things about them and this is one of them for me so that's it okay guys that's all for this week's video um like I said it's been one that I've kind of been wanting to make for a little bit now and I'm really glad that I'm getting to finally share this with you and to explain myself to you um so like i said thank you and i love you all very 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 much so anyway i will talk to you guys later um yeah bye <laughs>